we've got JCI Thrift. Let's see if we've got anything cool. Okay, bunch of VHS as usual. Bunch of CDs. There's probably something decent in here in terms of VHS, I would imagine. I mean, there's just so many. But, don't really have any inclination to look. See some of the same stuff as last time. seen. Look at how disproportionate this is. These are like adult bodies with kids faces. This is the creepiest thing I've ever seen. Look at this. Ooh, I'm gonna chill. Sealed Avengers volume one. I don't think I have any of that show. movie and that song. I saw that movie in theaters like two or three times. China Syndrome, the novel. Okay, well, a lot of books. <laughs> Look at that. It's all this. A lot of religious stuff. <laughs> okay, well, um, maybe I'll take this, not sure, we'll see. Rainy day at the ReStore, right before work, let me see if they have any new movies, or games, you know how I do. Alright, so, I think it's official, they've moved, this is all VHS now. And up there, so they have a ton. And I think they've officially moved all their movies to here. Which I'm totally fine with, uh, except for the fact that they're double stacked. That's annoying. What, what is this? Liberty University Religion. Wow. I've never been so n not interested in something in my life. Rogers VHS set, yeah. Is that a DVD set? Right. I feel like I've seen all this. Piece. My brother's a little younger than I am, and he grew up watching this show. He's like seven years younger. And I know the theme song because of him. Maggie and the Ferocious Beast and No Land. And No Land. Because he'll just like bust out with it every once in a while. Yeah, I think I've seen, I think I've seen all these, to be honest. For the all right. Well, I will try. Ooh, Sonic Unleashed. Do I have that one? Yeah, it is. <laughs> Many levels of no thank you. Mm -hmm. 
hairspray. Customer from my job has been looking for hairspray. I'd pick it up for him, honestly, if it was a widescreen one. If you guys are watching, they have a copy here <laughs> at the restore. VHS that doesn't look familiar. Vasectomy, a delicate matter. Abe Vigoda, Paul Sardino comedy from the 80s, never made it to DVD. I'll take it. Looks wacky. Alright, we're here at the Goodwill before work. See if they have anything cool and exciting. Alright, they have a lot of movies. Let's start down here. I like this ABC stuff here. Maybe. I haven't been here in a few weeks, so at least a couple weeks, so fingers crossed. this once and couldn't because of that goddamn left track but it's sealed so if I don't want it maybe I can get it wasn't so beat up. That's the problem with old hip hop, especially from the 90s. More often than not, they are destroyed. seen that film. I know it's Cool Dooter's favorite movie. I am enjoying it, but I didn't like it that much. Sometimes the ship fetches a little bit. Let me look it up. I my brother, same thing with random music DVDs. No idea. I think I have this, but it's 
field. Might be able to fetch something for it. Sealed. Might be able to fetch something. This is gonna be more of a make money kind of day. Ugh, these Hallmark things. More often than not, fetch something. Middle-aged, middle-aged housewives love that stuff. The saddle. Look at this. This is '90s shit right here. on it. Public domain, killer shrews, ugh. Creature. Alone. Ordinary people sealed. I'm not sure if it's something I'm interested in. PG-13 Stomp. I'll check it. You never know. It's worth a quick search. for cause to see if they have any cool stuff. Ah, there we go. Been looking for this one. Mjolnir, you recommended this one to me. And I gotta check it out. I gotta check it out. And it's Daniel Day-Lewis, man. Jim Sheridan directed. Yeah, I'll take it. I think these are a buck. I think they might be cheaper. 50 cents, maybe. I if it's out of print. It's a re region two father of the bride there. A lot of uh, run of the mill. Looking for a gold too because I like how make. 
Koye Serra smoothies. Guy who does all the movies with Unknown and uh, Run All Night with Liam Neeson. Apparently did Gold too. Which is the sequel to Goal 1. fetches a few bucks out of print. The Blu-ray is really hard to find, which is why I think the DVD still fetches a bit. Just people are, don't want to spend the money on the Blu-ray. The Assassin. Oh wow. <laughs> Point of no return, John Badham film. This is a reason to be though. One I haven't seen a remake of La Femme Nikita, of course, from uh, Besson. Wow, another region B. It's interesting to see the artwork and the different color schemes and stuff. Stands out. That's out of print. That fetches a little bit. Fish called Wanda. Agent B. Percy Jackson double feature ammo. I get confused as to which ones fetch a bit and which don't. I have to check. Looks like it might be liquid damage there. Maybe. Or the case is too small for the artwork. Again, always check music DVDs, man. Some of them go for a crazy amount. Most of them don't. Some of them do. Boogie Superstar. Nine oh two one oh season one. Nineties as hell. Can you get more nineties than that? Live action Dragon Age movie. How weird. We had the Goodwill. See what they got. Alright, so walking up here. Those a few things here. That's pretty hard to find, I believe. Um, definitely taking that. I think that just goes for quite a bit. This is an interesting Hulk. Yeah, Target exclusive. Cool. Incredible Hulk. Neat. <laughs> the 
these are really obscure. This has King of the Kickboxers 2 on it. It's pretty amazing, actually. I don't even know who put these out. AAPES Spartan Dangerous Games. From the director of Predator Stephen Hopkins, Richard Norton Death Fight, and King of the Kickboxers 2 American Shaolin. Cool. I'm glad I spotted that. Hmm. Last dispatch. I feel like I've looked at that. I don't know what that is. Whoa. How much of crap here? Ooh, Wind River. If this was the Blu-ray, I would definitely take it. I actually have this on Blu-ray, believe it or not. And I have seen this here before. last time but So I moved. Uh, a bunch of red box movies here. That's gonna do it for today's December thrifting. Let's check out what we got. All right, so here is the stuff that I am getting rid of. Things that I either have or I don't have any interest in um, that I'm selling off to fund the stuff that I'm keeping. So. Uh, I'm not going to go through each and every one. I'm just going to kind of do a quick overview here so you guys could see. This is probably the coolest piece here, this Hulk special edition that slides open. You get to see the big man himself. But yeah, a bunch of stuff. Uh, nothing that really stands out. But, you know, average probably 8 to 10 bucks each. I'll probably make profit of four, 3 to $5 dollars on each one. This one's worth quite a bit more. But that is that. Now the stuff that I will be keeping. Monsters Ball, Blu-ray. I don't have much space on my phone, so I'm going to go through these quick. It's a hard drama. I think Holly Berry got nominated for this or won. It's supposed to be really affecting. So I'm happy to add this one to the collection for 69 cents from the Goodwill. Buena Vista Social Club. This one I'm going to hold on to. It seems like a pretty cool documentary about Cuban folk musician who was rediscovered. It sounds kind of neat. So I'll keep it in the collection, give it a whirl at some point. Vasectomy, a delicate matter. Paul Servino, Abe Vigoda, a comedy from the 80s that never made it to DVD or Blu-ray or streaming as far as I could tell. So this is kind of an obscure VHS. Love me some obscure VHS. Legend of Korra. Got this for 69 cents too. Book one. I guess this is the su successor sequel to Avatar, which I've seen the first season of and enjoy. This I got off camera, actually. I ran out of space on my phone at the uh, Cause for Pause, and I found Deep Star 6. Can you believe it? It has a couple uh, Blockbuster stickers, but that's okay. And um, I might uh, end up selling this off at some point to fund the Blu-ray, because it also is full screen, but it was still cool to see Deep Star 6 out at a thrift shop. Sean S. Cunningham, the guy who directed Friday the 13th years earlier. In the name of the father, um, Mjolnir recommended this one for my 1993 video that is coming, <laughs> will be coming soon. Uh, Daniel Day-Lewis, Emma Thompson, Jim Sheridan movie. I think he directed Get Rich or Die Tryin' starring 50 Cent. And then got these off camera from The Cause for Pause as well. Again, my camera, my, my 
uh, storage ran out and minute to win it and broken sword now I ended up paying like three bucks a pop for these I thought they were gonna be a buck, but still three bucks a pop ain't bad I love game show games for the Wii. They're very fun Especially come like Christmas time with family and this is an adventure game from the glory days of adventure gaming on the PC This is broken sword shadow the Templars director's cut on the Wii very cool So I'm glad to own those two mean girls got this one off camera at the Goodwill on my way out I was like, you know what? I need to see mean girls. It's been compared to Heather's it's been uh uh, people say it's one of the best high school movies of the last 20 years, so I gotta check this one out. Finally. Beach Blanket Bingo and How to Stuff a Wild Bikini. Starring Frankie Avalon? This is pretty out of print. Uh, it fetches like 15, 20 bucks, but I'm gonna keep it in my Midnight Movies collection. I own a lot of those. One day I'll do a video showing off them, but I don't know if these are really my thing. They're sort of like 50s beach or 60s beach comedies. I don't know. I don't know, man. Triple Bill. Now this is this is my kind of uh, my kind of DVD here. American Shaolin, King of the Kickboxers 2, Death Fight with Richard Norton, and Dangerous Games from uh, Stephen Hopkins, the director of Predator 2. All cool stuff. Um, I was looking into these a little bit last night. I didn't even know this was a co-directed movie by Stephen Hopkins in the 80s. Has some horror elements, so pretty cool. These are hard to find. Not easy to find these little triple features. Got this Avengers Volume 1 sealed. I'm holding on to this. I was going to sell it, but I'm holding on to it because I do like the 90s like Marvel and DC shows, of course. Predator of Dino or Predator Dinosaurs and Pr Prehistoric Planet. Prehistoric Planet and Predator Dinosaurs. BBC Dinosaur Documentaries. This one's from the 90s. This one's from about eight years ago. So this will be more updated and have better information scientifically. But they're still pretty cool. And I love collecting the BBC uh, video stuff, BBC Earth stuff, my kind of thing. That's going to do it for this video, guys. I hope you all enjoyed it. I'd love to know what you've picked up over the last couple weeks. Feel free to leave that down in the comments below and we'll get a little discussion roll. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel and want to see more videos like it, go ahead and hit the subscribe button as well as the little bell for notifications. Anyway, guys, I will see you all next time. Happy December. Happy holidays. <sighs> Uh, I don't know what else to say. Goodbye!